Queens of Mystery in the Dark, first chapter. Although not officially declared an orphan until her fifth birthday, Miranda Stone lost her mother three days, three hours, and three minutes into her third year. She would later tell of a feeling of visible cold and share with her brother Sonny Snapping of how even at the tender age of three years, three days, and three hours, and three minutes, oh, she's sure you never see a mother alive again. Despite your tragedy, Matilda grew up well cared for and well loved by her mother's free ring writing sisters, Judy Study Hand. Cat, remember, remember everyone starts. Make sure you lay in the first punch. Beth Stone, tuna ba- paste to bake your favourite. Moving regularly between aunts, Matilda. Eventually enjoyed living above her Aunt Jane's crime bookshop, Murder, Inc. At night, she would sneak downstairs, take a look at random, book at random, and read by torchlight until dawn, from Angleton to Zimmer. Every author in between, Melin- Melin- Matilda's childhood was spent devouring of aunt's library to crime fiction. So it was no surprise when age 18, Matilda left her children, children home, Wish Mush, Wundermush, to join the police. Had the mystery of her mother's disappearance never left her. How and why she vanished and who, if anyone, was responsible was never been established. As Matilda returned to Wildermarsh, her mother's beloved cat, she pondered the, the few known facts of the case that Mahil Koku scribbled in her mother's hand on the backboard of Matilda's nursery, a sovereign Belgium cigarette. Found in the ashtray by a mother's car, a solitary black feather discovered a mother's safe budget, budget box. And all these things might, might or not, might not be connected, or may, or may not lead to the solving of the riddle that has haunted Matilda since childhood. A riddle she one day hopes to solve. Matilda Stone reported for duty. Matilda? Terry Foster, you are friends with my sister Kate. Been two years, two months, three days, and sixty hours since Bruce comes up. Constable Foster, first lady eyes of Matilda Stone, a flame united by the what? Her first account is still burned bright. I'm sorry, I don't remember. No, no, of course not. There's no reason for you to. So, oh, it's, it's PC Foster now, anyways. And you are the sergeant, which means I'm working under you, beneath you, within, with you. Oh, I better got. I'm going to get Inspector. You're late, Stone. My office don't sit. I don't lie, to Sergeant. I am. You wasn't my first choice for this position. In fact, you weren't even my top ten. Now I see you're born in Wildermarsh. Yes, sir. My aunts brought me up. The Stone sisters. You knew them. They offered me their services. Writing, detecting. I'm sure they meant their best. You shouldn't need me to tell you, Sergeant. There's no place for the amateur sleuth in modern policing. What, Inspector Fawn? What did you say next? Was I love you, oh, Aunt Jane, for far for 25 years? I can't bring myself to be near her for fear of making a fool of myself. But what she chose to say was we were the police, and under no senses, to require the help of these three middling aunts. Do you want to make, uh, do I make myself clear? Perfectly, sir. I pack your things. Your stuff starts in 15 minutes. But Aunt Beth, be nominated for a ward and picking. Hoping I'll go unpacked. The ward of the question was a cheesiest golden pick. Acts of crime or, or, or right over the year. Combination of Hager Dean Castle. 15th Wintermere's Wintermere's Crime Writers Festival. Annual celebration of crime fiction. A place for the great and the good crime writing world. Get an opportunity to meet their fans, promote their wares. The Open Stone series, following the crime investigators of inner city vicar, Iris Freeman, the most successful of the three sisters' novels. Cat Stone's acclaimed wrote Alexander Parker graphic novels about kick ass music industry fixer, and Jane Stone's offbeat Harry Lambert box about an Android police detective, are more than able to hold their own in uh, such a exalted company. Oh, I do hope you win. Well, it's an honour to be you, you, just to be mentioned," said the loser. "Besides, the smart money is an inclusive Benjamin Kingston, 
The rumour has it that ADH had promised him the golden pickaxe. I shall turn you up to the festival. What do you, can she do that? Well, do you think, who do you think picks the winner? Is it this, and, it, and it's this assaulted company, the cash trap foreign owners, world owned the most screenwriters festival, and England must owner of Hig, 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 Dean Castle, Lady of Fringero Hidabin. Dean once finds herself, again finds herself hosting a Q&A, this question, this year's Golden X Award nominees, for Steen Authors, Oscar Press, Prescott, Isabel Wolf, Benjamin Kingston, and last but not least, Richard Windermarsh, by own Beth Stone. I sure the audience would love to know how you got your ideas for your novels. Maybe you should take this one, Isabel. I mean, for one, I, for one, I would be fascinated to learn how you come up with the idea of the latest novel. What it's called again? Death on the High Seas. It's a murder on the Mary Rose. You don't, don't sound sure. Well, it's to answer your original question. It came to me in a flash. Came to you in an envelope with a name on it, more like. Oh, well, why don't you tell us a bit about your inspiration, Oscar? How, now, how many Charlie M- M- Palmer novels have you, has there been? Is it 21? Is it 23? Oh, 23. How marvellous. And my slightly overfistic assistant greatly, greatly states, been 23, this is brown bread. As soon to be, Soon to be the number 24. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's based on a real life incident. Accidentally enough happened right here in Hillobdean Castle. It's, it's, and it's your mother I have to thank for it, I don't know. If the Baroness has given me access to your excellent, hasn't given you me access to your excellent library last summer, I should have never have covered the story. What's it about, Oscar? Oh, sorry, just my, but my agent is sitting right there. Uh, give me strict instructions not to discuss the plot, to deliver the manuscript, sorry. Oh no, we must, we must respect an author's right to privacy. Please, Oscar. Well, if you write, it's alright. I suppose I can tell you a little about it. So it's a 1963 Summer Love. Every new novel about Charlie Cotley Gonshu, Charlie Farmer, Cradle and Jane, Richard Blas, Stately Home and Hippie, Gazaskat, Baron Tourridge, where our hero Charlie Palmer is caught in a case of Old Baron, his current crop of sycophant fence, hangers on, and his latest tournament has no, has no exceptions. Four hours earlier, Stray Bullet, originally destined for the heart of an unwitting pigeon, found itself embedded in the neck of an entirely different quarry. Ben Brian Baron called his chum Lord Grint. I like one of those them prigs, old, old French cousins, used to find truffles. I like, I, I like one of those pigs that our French cousins used to find truffles. I go get me nose dirty. Everyone thought Lord Grint's death was an unfortunate accident. A Chinese investigators Faces they didn't conclude that it was, well, in fact, murdered by someone. It's very rude. Oh, sorry, sorry. I really am sorry. I'm afraid I hate to interrupt you, but you're on full flow, Oscar. Oh, do. I do believe. Oh, I do, I realize. I do, but you're afraid we're out of time. So why don't we show appreciation for our goal, for our goal next nominees? By well and for us, to you all. Now we have been all presentation seven this evening. I am very much looking forward to you joining me there. Thank you very so much, Tobias, young Benjamin Kingston's agent. I'm glad I'm guest to the festival. Would you mind signing it in? Although blessed with good health and good looks, a literary agent, Tobias Young, who considered less luck in other areas of his life. Luck, that is nothing else, was at least consistent. Oh, if anything else, I'm not here. Well, there's no, there was a mini bar last year. It's very disappointing. Hello, Gary Gaston. There's a telephone call for me. Yes, Miss Gaston? Thank you. Hello, John. Guy? Yes, sorry, my battery ran out. Has he signed? No, no, Oscar didn't sign the contract yet. I showed it to him. And he told me where to stick it. Well, Guy, we do need to know. Move this forward. You know that. No, I know. I know this time, this time's running out. You want it on my desk tomorrow morning? Yes. Well, do you want no, no more delay? You understand me, Guy? As soon as it's done, I, oh, your coffee. Can you have it, please? Can I have it, please? Thank you. You're very kind. 
Is anything okay, Miss Avell? You know what? I think I, I think it's going to be to my dear friend Cat, who's stuck by me from thick and thin. And how many thick are things? Half a million sales, three weeks in the top charts, and a gold pickaxe nomination. And they said I was finished. You were. You haven't seen Beth, have you? No. Isabel Max. Ha ha. Um, mm, mm. What are you going to do to me? Cat Maximilian Sinclair, Sinclair Publishing. Max Cat Stone, I'm a poster of your band. My wolf wrote my formative years. You must have been a very late developer. What are you doing here, Max? I thought you hated the library literary festivals. I do. You won't catch me dead at one of these literary events. But Oscar insisted I attend. And well, when your best selling author says jump, how more publisher can ask couldn't he ask how high? I agreed you were going to sign today. Yeah, well, you know, I need time to think about it. I don't have much, I don't have more time. I made promises to people. Assume you're talking about the people who bust your arm. How much you owe them this time? Look, I've been with Guy since Cambridge. The least I can do is offer him a chance of improving terms. However, whatever they are, I'll beat them. I know, Beth. Figures are correct. I had them verified, so... What do you want? And making some changes in my life, Max. Taking back control. Oh, sorry, Beth. Take them down as soon as you can. Very good, my lady. And then you can feed the dogs. Oh, everything's okay, Benjamin. Looking for Emily, Oscar P.A. Well, she's around here somewhere. Find Oscar and you'll find Emily. You'll be nothing without me. You, you ungrateful cur. I made you, so I should just blindly set. Whatever miserable terms you see to prove, pose. Yes, oh, for God's sake, Twitter bullets. Yes, yes, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. See what you've done, it's hardly my blood, my bloody fault. Stay on, Oscar, steady on, Oscar. You've got change, you've got not change, have you, Benji? Always standing up for the little people. Oscar, you're busy? Oh, back off, Tobias. Oscar's my client. I just, they're not, not now, Tobias. Look, I need, I need, I said, not now. God, you people are killing me with your constant demands. I'm glad I'm free of a lot of you. The other did Oscar Prescott, Prescott and realized his words. They'll be more prophetic. 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 Thank you, thank you. Did you find out where Beth's been hiding? I looked everywhere. This is, this is the first time I've seen of her. Thank you very much. Very well, we're very welcome to you all. Welcome to Golden Pickaxe, Right Kind Writer, the Year Award. This year's winner is Oscar Prescott for Trouble and Strife. Oh, congratulations. Oh, bravo. No one saw that coming. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Never mind, really. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Well, look, traditionally the winner at this point would probably make a speech, but I've never really been able one of the tradition. So I said I'd like to form a reading for the last page of my next George Palmer mystery, Brown Bread. Last pages? Two pages? Wouldn't that rather give away who did it? I remember the shooting party had a motive to kill Lord Grunt and a crowd. George Palmer has spent the last 24 hours in telling me which of them, if any, Go it, Oscar. I need Oscar. We also got the ability to do so. Oscar Palmer coolly turned to take the guest suspectant faces and declared, Now, who is, oh dear? Oh, for Christ's good sake. Stay calm, everyone. Just stay calm, absolutely calm. Stay where you are. All it will be well in, 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 in just a tiny second. Let's get to the bar before it shuts. Back up, January. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Help! Somebody help! Somebody help! For sixty six miles, twenty seven feet, inches away, a silver shiver ran down Matilda's spine. She paused to wonder if the shiver bore any significance to the photograph she's holding of her missing mother, and then and all, a photograph had come to replace the fading memory of the woman Matilda once knew. Every day in that past Matilda's memory, her mother became even weaker. One day, thought Matilda, the photograph will all be all I have left. Hello, the phone's ringing. Sergeant Matty, I mean, Sergeant Ma- Detective Sergeant Matilda Stone. 
There's been a murder, Dr. Lynch. A local GP, a resident pathologist, Detective Sergeant Matilda Stone, Dr. Lynch, Daniel, please, Matilda, had never had been given to flights of fancy, but in that instance, instance, possibilities of a life, where Daniel Lynch described himself, is a conscious with the propriety of a permanent marker. Betty, we're here for you. Don't ca- don't think she can see us. Matty, quite the fan club you have, have here there. Shh, I think she's seen us. If you should show us the body, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Oscar Pres- Prescott, 22, single. He was on the stage when an attack took place. The lights were out. No one saw who did it. Hit from behind. Killed with a single blow by the looks of it. How long is the lights out? Less than a minute. So the killer must have been already on stage when the lights went out. Or in the wings. Or in the wings. So I specs. Oh, sorry. I made a list. Very event and organizer. Helen Hanterstein. Oscar's agent, Guy Esprin. Nominee of all the winners. Nominees, Benjamin Kingston, Isabel Ruff. Oscar's PA, Emily Rose. Publisher, Maximilian Sinclair. Literary agent, Tobias Young. And award nominee, Beth Stone. Stone? In relation? My her aunt. Please don't take me off the case, sir. I promise I can be impartial. You better hand, Sergeant. Otherwise, your first case in charge. Be your last, so your last. Can you re- rely on me, sir? I won't let you down. No, 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 no group hugs, Inspector. For all we'll see. Oh, come on, kid. Give us, uh, give it, uh, us this. We haven't seen you for months. Made up. We have made up your old room ready. There's a tuna base. Bats. Pastor Bake, the fridge, I expect you want us to tell us who did it. You know, we have our own theories. Then keep them to yourselves. Inspector wants this investigation done by the book. It means absolutely no outside interference. It means you, Aunt Beth, are my possible list of suspects. Me? I never even met Oscar Prescott before this evening. You don't seriously expect, expect Beth? Well, you taught me to a good detective always keeps an open mind. But of course I don't. Don't. You best don't leave town. Oh, look. Look at her. All grow up. Where did death go now? What? I didn't see. My man Arthur tell you the castle's like you put dates of war. They're always going out. I can't afford it to get them fixed. And those the people I know I would need to interview. What? I need a room? Nobody leaves until I say, right. I think we have a little omelette for supper. Arthur? Do you smell smoke? Haven't been able to smell since 1984. Excuse me? My nerves on little edge today. Do you have a spare cigarette? Sorry. Don't smoke. Oh, my state. I'm sure we can spare a moment. If you... No, no, no. Sorry. Oh, I first met Oscar 20 years ago. Book signing for apples and pears. Oscar's first... Charlie Newton Palmer novel. I must have read that book a hundred times. It went off straight, oh, straight away. He stayed in touch. We also learned that I stepped up. That I stepped up the Charlie Palmer's fan club. Started up the, Ch- set the Charlie Palmer's fan club. He asked if I could come and work for him. P.A. If there, there was ever anything else. Is it really necessary, Sergeant? My relationship with Oscar was pretty professional. The only love we shared was for Charlie Palmer. And for Mr. Kingston, all of Oscar and I shared rooms at Cambridge. We both read English. It was, it was, that wasn't, je- that, you wasn't jealous that Oscar beat you to go and pick Axe Award? Riding my revolver was an academic exercise. I care nothing for awards. Had anything been troubling you, Oscar, recently? Do you have any failings of any, of anyone? Failings out of anyone? He had a bust up with his agent this morning, Guy Ashton. But this is, that, it, it was nothing. Guy loves Oscar. He would never hurt him. Oscar is special. Was special. Discovered him while he was at Cambridge. I secured him his pub, first publishing deal when he was there. I understand you and Oscar were falling out earlier today. Part of ritual dance. We went through every contract renewal time. I offer one thing. Oscar demands another thing. Something else. We fight. We make up. We agree. Or something in the middle. So Oscar, will you sign with me? Will you? It's going to happen any day. Look, I never hurt Oscar. He is my greatest friend. Find my greatest achievement. 
Come in, come in. Survey to bother you. The same you need to see. Oscar Prescott's manuscript. Last page is missing. Well, it's already unlocked. Well, he wasn't one for keeping things tidy, was he? Well, help me look, look for his laptop. Oh, we won't find one. Oscar wrote everything on by hand. Does he make, make a copy? Never. He is paranoid someone would read. If before he's ready, someone come to a great deal to trouble to hide the ending of Dot Bowie and Brad. So old Charlie Brown's case, I'm betting and lead us to whoever killed it. it's all for sorry. Beth always had them, always been more of the cook. It looks lovely, thanks. Hello, are you sure it's okay for me to stay? Cause I could have my, I could get my own place. Where's money on rent? Morning. Morning, old coffee. Morning, old cat. Ma'am, I thought you I told you before, it's just cat. Aunt seen, makes me feel old. Are you eating that? Well, go ahead. So, how's the manuscript? Well, about the last five pages, I've got a clue who Charlie Parker was about to name as a murderer. Well, we could take a look at the for you. I told you yesterday, bat out. Inspector Forms all told all of us. Oh, well, so I won't ask you if you think it's odd that Oscar won the award in the first place. Shouldn't he have? Have? Well, couldn't do Isabel Wolf. Lady Emma H promised it to Benjamin Kingston, the attendant of the festival. So our greats. Well, from what I heard, Isabel and Oscar hated each other. I'm not so sure. I saw Oscar leaving Isabel's room, and they just, they just, and let's just say they both looked as if they needed a cold shower. Oh, I got, I got to go. Seeing them at the castle. Mm, we're here, talking down. I was, Taking our stalls, minding our own business. Thanks for the breakfast. All right, out of it. What? Well, the clearing is clearly a disappointment activity. The last time I mean, like you see this, you've just been dumped at the altar. Uh, last time I saw you like this, just been dumped at the altar. Both lied to Mad- uh, Mat- 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 Matilda. She told Matilda she never ever met Oscar Prescott until last night. Come on. I saw her with Oscar yesterday morning. She looked pretty well angry of him. Well, that's the real problem, Oscar. Well, what do you think, Beth? Killed Oscar and Prescott? No, maybe I don't know. Well, where would she lie? Why would she lie? And to Matilda. Of all people, there's one way to find out, Oscar. Or oh, any of these, those uh, missing pages? Yes. Did anyone else... Put you put them there. No, they were like this when we came down for breakfast. The murder is Baron Tollidge. Naughty boy, Baron Tollidge. That doesn't make sense. Maybe we'll have stole them for so sick. Was so scared of being impl- implicated and the murders they've been decided to turn them. No, they're not the real papers. No, they're genuine. How can you be so sure? A PhD in Simulatory is a study of logistic styles used in derivatory. To retreat, authorship. Every author's writing style is unique, like a fingerprint. I know Oscar's everywhere. Anywhere. Beth, open up. It's us. She's not answering on her mobile. Beth, you can't, don't think Beth has anything to do with Oscar's death, do you? No, without a good reason. Well, what does that mean? It means it's time we get, got involved, Matilda. Told you not, us not to. That before we became personal. What do you want? What are you going to do? Find out why Isabella Wolf lied about a relationship with Oscar. What are you supposed to do? Well, follow up with the superstitions about Max Claire. Then Claire, any what superstitions? What superstitions? Asking for a cigarette? You never smoked in your life. I surprised to smell smoke on him, that's all. Ash marks. You think Max Claire was lying about how not being a smoker? No, I think he would have been standing near a fire. In the middle of summer? I'm looking for Isabel Wolf. You've gone into winter, winter March. A paintings of a photographer that hung in the corridor yesterday. Well, they've been sent to Winter Wintermarch Antiques for restoration. Well, Matilda's pondering. Lady Mendelssohn's liberal use of her limited funds, cat stone, probably Isabel Wolf's equally liberal use of alcohol, of asking herself, are you in any way connected to the recent death a young girl, woman, named called Sandra Henderson, Henderson. I'm asking, I'm asking for a forty percent. Give me a minute, would you? Just in advance, Mr. Sinclair, Mr. Young. I need you to ask you a few questions. Can't this wait? 
We're in the middle of negotiation stations here. Excuse my colleague, Sergeant. Gask away. Though I'm the last person that would want... Although I am the last person that would want poor Oscar dead. And why would that be? He made me a rich man. I took a gamble publishing apples and pears. But he's an innocent hit. Like every uh, Charlie Palmer block since. Killing Oscar would be like killing the golden goose. And you... Well, Oscar was my client. Why would you? I want him dead. Officer, I understood Oscar has signed to Guy Ashton. You ask, he has, was, till yesterday. Meanwhile, Jenny Stone, correcting herself in her foresight, having recently completed at the University of Hard Knots, Evils Everywhere, Poplar, How to Pick Any Lot, Correspondence Course, The Flat, by which Rodermarsh, Alter Body, Repairs. Jane's sister cat I picked up some more modern, so less criminal method of investigation. No, Oscar could, could never leave me for a charlatan like tomorrow at this young. But he does have the Oscar's signature on the contract. Well, this is a, well, this is a fake. It has to be. As you can see, the signature was witness. I'm going to tell you that snake. It doesn't even in here, Guy. Guy, just stay there. Deceptive stone is a woman causing a stomach and an embittered jack. I have been tied up at the moment. I'm a bit tied up, Terry. But it sounds like it's Isabel Wolf. If you could be, wait here. Get your hands off me. Get, don't come back. I don't step back into that dump. If you pay me, Isabella. Oh, if you, it's you. What do you want? We need to talk. All about. Oscar Prescott's been sent to leave, leave your room It's the afternoon here. Cheers. So Oscar and I would love us. There, I said it. A whole anonymity thing. A cover. Amnesty thing. A cover. Oscar didn't want anyone to know. But bad for his image, he said. You're barking up the wrong tree if you think I had anything to do with his death. You need to start looking close to home, meaning your Aunt Beth isn't the saint you think she is. I heard she tell you she didn't know Oscar I saw them arguing yesterday morning Oscar despite learning of Aunt Beth's deceit over any reason she had to, yet to fathom Matilda's thoughts kept returning to the one woman she trusted above all others a missing mother Eleanor meanwhile Eleanor and Matilda's aunt Cat chose a deception of every a different kind Sandy Henson's in landlord yeah I'm part of the rich, well, the rich well watchman I need to see her in her room so Sandy knew Oscar two hundred and a black blaze to win you know I'm good for it hold on while well, Tobias Young figured out his options just James Stone was busy engaging figures a rather different man for nature Aunt Beth I really need to speak to you about Oscar Prescott. Well, Aunt Beth didn't want to speak. But, uh, but Aunt Beth didn't want to speak to her Matilda. Matilda was left to wonder why. Of all the people in the world, her aunt, Beth, would choose to lie to her. And while Matilda concerned herself with a lie, Cat Stone was about to be reminded of the universal truth, namely, a good artist can, p- can copy, but God, by artist still. Hello, still blessed with good health and good looks. Hello, literary agent Tobias Young continued to have considerably less stuck in other areas of his life. Anyone here? Lucky that, if nothing else, was at least consistent. At least consistent. Pep, pep, 